Good morning everyone, here I have the BMW i7 60, xDrive 60, awesome! <laughs> I was excited about this car because I'm getting old <laughs> and old means I like it comfortable and I drove this car for two days already to work and, and home and it's extremely comfortable. Today we're gonna do 110 kilometers an hour range test. I'm charging to 100%, I'm almost done, I'm at 99 um, and then we go on the highway drive it down to 10% or 15 something like this. I have a bit of data and of course I need EV database to tell me everything. It's 105.7 kilowatt hour battery, 101.7 can be used. 400 volt system, can charge AC with 11 kilowatt, DC 200 kilowatt. WLTP range, where did I see it? 625 kilometers. Uh, on the way to work and home, um, it's using Percentage-wise, almost as much as my ID3, so I'm guessing it's more 400 kilometers on a, a normal use. And on the highway today at 110, I'm guessing also the 400. We'll see. Uh, it has all-wheel drive, 544 horsepower, so it should be uh, the, the the motors from the i4 M50 that I drove once, and the battery should be from the iX uh, XDrive 50. The car is gigantic, 5 meters and 39 centimeters long. Uh, gigantic tires in the front. We, uh, it's two, 20 inch tires, that's fine. 255 and 285 in the rear. <laughs> well, with 500 horsepower. Um, it doesn't go as the i4, of course, because it's heavier. But like I said, it's extremely comfortable and extremely quiet. And we're going to see this on the road as well. By the way, I looked at the configurator in Germany. This car, so the 60, with this battery and this motor, uh, starts at 140,000 euros. And of course, there's a lot to put in, so it can be even more expensive. If you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And I also have channel membership here on YouTube. Those people always get the information first, and they also get access to videos earlier than the normal public. On my way, I'm driving 112 kilometers an hour on the speedometer, which is 110. And I just looked at the clock, I can't do to 10%, so maybe I drive to 20% down or something, because at 110 that takes a very long time. Even though my consumption is 24.4 of the 25 kilometers, still. My heat, by the way, is on 21 degrees, only the driver airflow is very low, so that's all cool. Um, I have noticed um, it's very, very busy, I have to pass a lot of trucks and then I have to accelerate to 120 or so, so otherwise I'm just uh, in the way of other people driving and I don't want to do that. It was 10 and a half degrees when I started. Um, by the way, if you want to see that beautiful head-up display, looks amazing. On the way back, we will have the navigation and look at this. Uh, and as you can hear, it's extremely quiet. At 110, it feels like I'm driving 40 or 50. Nothing. And I also noticed this is the only car so far that I have driven it has a pedestrian warning sound, but when you're driving, you can't hear it inside. <laughs> so I don't hear it. It's so quiet when you start driving and it's extremely comfortable driving over bumps. And this, this is highway, so uh, it's, it's, it's very great asphalt. I mean, uh, in, in the city over cobblestone and I don't know, holes and whatnot in, on the road, it's just, amazingly comfortable. The seats 
they're so comfortable they're so cushiony here uh, this is couch feeling really amazing and I tested the seat heaters the other day they take a bit to warm up but at least they get warm I, I tested them in the IX and they didn't get warm I had an IX in the winter once and I uh, had the seat heater on full and it got warm but not that I could feel a bit more and I thought it's because of the seats because they're so cushiony but in these seats it's fine really fine and you can adjust everything the only thing I don't like when we, where we get in detail is that the headrest is very far back so when I'm driving here so the headrest is holding my head that's not possible I have to sit maybe higher then uh, or, or, or more straight but I don't want to do this and you can adjust the height electrically of course with the infotainment system but not that it goes forward cruise control just works perfect it keeps the distance it doesn't slow down extremely fast or accelerate extremely fast very comfortable um, I cannot adjust the distance on the steering wheel now come on focus there we go now I have to pass let's do the self it does it itself we accelerate a bit because there's someone coming we have auto lane change of course here on the side I have to do it myself there is a car coming <laughs> it has auto lane change like I just said you put the blinker in it takes two seconds then it starts it it does it very fast um, and in as well of course it has to check if everything is fine uh, I like it and the self steering is awesome just a slight touch it doesn't even have to be a lot slight touch here and it notices me um, so long distance driving in this car is no problem at all do it it's awesome I'm at 75% and I drove 115 kilometers that would mean 460 kilometers of range at that speed my average speed I just saw it based on this trip meter is 107 kilometers an hour consumption average is 20, uh, uh, 211 watt hours per kilometer I have regenerated 2 kilowatt hours because I had to slow down a few times accelerated out of accelerated uh, to pass the car and then slowed down again yes I think I will drive down to 25 or 30 percent I don't have that much time today so we'll drive to I don't know 300 kilometers or so so I'm back at the charger at 1, 1 p.m. it's 11 p.m. now so I drive another two hours um, drive so far it's really busy it was more busy on the other road usually it's the other way around um, and I will soon uh, go in the direction of Munich where there should be even less traffic uh, so especially trucks and everything is just fine I love driving in here uh, I don't have the AC on even though it's getting a bit warm with the Sun uh, if I need it I will turn it on and by the way I'm in efficiency mode I totally forgot to say that um, but I turned off that the climate does the efficient thing but right now climate is not doing anything it's not cooling it's not heating all fine it's 11 degrees now but with the Sun it's just amazing beautiful out today <music>
50% and we drove 236 kilometers, I think it was in a half, that would mean 472 kilometers of range. Consumption went a bit down, um, but that's usual here on the way back. I have the AC on now on auto and 22 and a half degrees because it's 16 and a half degrees outside. Consumption 209 watt hours per kilometer. Um, navigation tells me I have 47 minutes to go. There should be a tiny traffic jam. I should arrive with 34%. I apologize for not driving it down further. I just can't today. I only have this car for a week and I'm still working. So I can only drive today on su and Sunday. And today is Friday. I still have stuff to do in the afternoon sorry sorry <laughs> i do my best here um yes so we we will be back at 35 percent or more when i turned around by the way it was at 56 percent or so it said i will arrive with 29 percent so it changes and uh, but the weird thing was when i uh, navigated to the charger in the morning it told me I will arrive with 80% and then my actual state of charge was already at 79% but it still said I will arrive with 80%. Maybe it thought it's going downhill but it wasn't. Um, yes, still comfortable, still awesome. I can just say it, it's a really amazing drive. Uh, I notice when I drive this car I get calmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I usually when I drive home from work I want to get home and so I pass cars and I'm a bit come on go I want to get home but in this I get very very calm and I'm it's fine it's all cool it's quiet and comfortable I can stay in here for a minute longer it's all fine a traffic jam right now and the car automatically does the emergency lane so it goes more to the left than it should and you can see it even in the AR display here in the screen and it shows the distance to the car and this will, will also show navigation and stuff like this but I'm in a 14 minute traffic jam because everything goes to one lane and it does that automatically amazing and in that at that speed it's it's not complaining that i'm not steering it's self steering on and it does it without complaining hey you're not touching the steering wheel <laughs> with 33% I drove 325 kilometers consumption was 206 watt hours per kilometer I regenerated 6.7 kilowatt hours I will deduct five minutes because I was in the traffic jam and we were driving very slow and uh, so this is not what it should be this is not the average speed but now I will go in Google Maps and see if it was really 325 kilometers so I looked at Google Maps and it's exactly 325 kilometers. So the car is right. And which, uh, when I, I calculate that I used 67% because there's still 33% left, that would mean 485 kilometers of range. I will put all the data here, wind, uh, the tires and the temperature and everything that's in here so you know. Um, 485 kilometers with a 102 kilowatt hour battery at 110 kilometers an hour. I think that's okay. Um, and it was a uh, very amazing uh, trip. Uh, what I'm missing in this car, I'm pretty sure you can get it, just this car doesn't have it, would be ventilated seats. I would have needed that. I'm a bit sweaty in the back. I had the AC on, like I said, the last 30, 45 minutes or so. Um, it was all just very comfortable and amazing and I'm gonna drive home now. 
a bit faster and we, if we see each other back on Sunday for the 130 kilometers an hour test. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.